if you are new and you haven't yet please be sure to hit that like and that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you are notified by any time i post a video if you do you're directly supporting me and my content and pushing forward to want to make more we are on the road to 6k and uh yeah enjoy the video what is going on guys it is your boy minix here and we are back with another video now today today we have something very special you know, it's been a very, very, very long time since we had a Bleach game on Roblox. But as many of you know, the game Reaper 2 has been in development. And for those of you who remember Reaper 1, it was a Bleach game back, I think, maybe almost a year ago now. Or about a year ago, or maybe even a little more. Yeah, it was a Bleach game, you know, it was pretty good for the time being, you know. We hadn't had a Bleach game in a very long time. You know, it was good for like a while. Then, you know, everybody, you know, got all the stuff that they wanted. Like usual ending made games when people get all the stuff that they want and do everything that they want to do. They eventually stopped playing the game and then lost players. And then eventually, you know, they stopped updating it. Then, <clears throat> you know, we lost. Uh, we didn't have a Bleach game for another very, very long time. And then, um, you know, uh, Bleach Air happened. And, you know, we, we're not even going to talk about that. And then, um, but now we see we are finally back in Reaper 2. And now as I'm speaking this, by the time you see this, this game is released. It's released like right, right now. I'm playing the release version. I do have access to the test server, but, um, I couldn't really like, you know, record anything in the test server because it was on media ban and you have to get like, you know, specially told that like you can make a video on this. And um, I was not one of the people who got told that they can make a video on it. So I definitely, um, played in it i just didn't couldn't you know record in it but let's just take a second you know what i'm saying to appreciate this beautiful map it's definitely very 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 nice you got a uh, force over there got that thing over there i haven't even been up there yet i didn't do too much exploring in the test server i was kind of just testing out all the abilities so like you know uh, i'm not gonna lie your boy might be coming a wrong car on an ult because um Ligero and sombra i think are like two very 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 nice no primero primero is very strong if you want to be in a wrong car i recommend you get primero because primero is so good but, um yeah you know we finally got another bleach game you know i'm probably gonna title this new bless new best bleach game because who's really gonna be in competition with it like oh, bleach era hey bro there is technically no competition for this being the best bleach game plus this is a genuinely very good bleach game now, the one thing that I will say is, like, the only, like, slight problem I had was, um, NPCs still occasionally blocking mid-combo. But other than that, um, for the most part, the visuals are good. The combat is good. Um, the quests are pretty nice. Uh, I'm assuming they're going to be adding more and more because this is only the alpha. So, you know, there's still going to be more and more stuff added as the game continues. Like, this map is probably going to be full of quests at some point, And they still have to add, you know... The Soul Society, they still have to add Waco Mundo, maybe even Hell at some point. There's still so much stuff that they could add to make this game even better than it is right now. But for the most part, we're just going to go ahead, you know, explore just a little bit, test out some of the new quests, and um, also, like, you know, just, just basically play the game and enjoy the game. So the last part we left off at was um, Sly Kange. So I think that's, like, the end of, like, the story, in a sense. Not, not the story, but, um... You know, just like, you know, the quest that makes you follow. But now, maybe we go to him. Oh, yeah, I see. Boom. Wait, no. Did I already do this quest before? I think I already did this quest before. But, uh, I mean, I'll go talk to him just to see what he has to say, though. All right, boom. Talk to this guy. What does he say? Oh, yeah. He says go talk to Sakage. All right. So, yeah, Sakage is the end. So, I guess we just got to now go on on our own to find quests for the most part. I think. Have we talked to this dude before? Gerald? I think we have. Yeah, we definitely have. He's one of the five. I'm gonna just do like a minor bit of map exploring. I'll come back to y'all when I found a new quest or like anything new to do that I haven't done yet. Also, for my sword, I got back to um, Sword no Shiryuki. Uh, because this is a very, very, very strong um, Zanpakuto. I don't know why they left it as an uncommon. This is definitely stronger than an uncommon. Uh, this is going to be like very, very strong for rank. Because, by the way, if y'all did not know, it did add a ranked button. I doubt it works right now, but it is there. So eventually there is going to be ranked PvP just like there was in the last game, which I will definitely indulge in because I didn't indulge in it much in the last game because I didn't get high level in the last game. But this game, I definitely do plan on grinding a lot and doing any of the new stuff that gets added. I'm going to go ahead, explore the map, see if I can find anything new, go across this bridge, and uh, I'll get back to you. Okay, so I'm talking to this dude, right? And he says, are you interesting? Are you interested? I'm assuming this is supposed to be interested, but it says interesting. So are you interested in protecting the life of a lost soul 
as it attempts to move past its current plane of existence. Of course. Alright, so not to protect the lost soul, but where is the lost soul? Oh, is it that right there? Oh shoot, it is that right there. Bro, why did it spawn it in the water? Lost soul. I'm coming. Bro. Get off of him. Get off of him. No. I didn't know. What, I thought it would like spawn it like right next to me at least, bro. What is this? They're over here jumping the mans. No. <laughs> Bruh. All right. Uh, my suggestion is at least make him like spawn right next to you or like spawn like you know a cursor for where he is Cause like I didn't even know where bro is and all of a sudden he was just getting jumped Also oh, at least give us a chance to fight them uh, I'm assuming that might be a more high level quest where you can kill hollows faster because um I was definitely not going to save them because if I was boxing one then others were just going to go get him Unless I use my Shikai which I guess I could have also, uh, wait, do I have Riyasu Charging? I don't even think I have Riyasu Charging when I'm in my mode, but, um, I'm not gonna try that quest again because, uh, you know, obviously, I don't think I can beat that as level 11, so I'm gonna go try and find a quest that's around my level. Alright, boom, we have another quest I don't think I've done yet. Let's click on him. I think you're good enough. So, what's up, man? Do you think you are even good at this game? Definitely. Okay, if you are, try to win five rank matches you join rank. Okay, so ranked might be in. Ranked might be in. I won't do that right now because I'm not entirely sure, plus I don't want to do ranked at this low of a level, but ranked might be a thing. Can I talk to this dude? Oh, it's Feeny! Shout out to Feeny. Oh, uh, let's see. What do you say? Oh, man. Are you interested in giving me some cold hard cash for a race reroll? Well, this is a cool way to do it without Robux. So if you manage to get $5,000 in the game, you don't like your race, boom, this dude Feeny over here. The homie will reset your race, but it'll also reset your data. So, I mean, if you're willing to get the 5,000 and grind up all the way for that, and you still don't like your race, you can go ahead and reset right there. We already did this on wrong car quest in the last video I did. I'm going to just skip past this and go talk to this dude right here, see if he says anything different. Yes, me, Dark Demon Funk Demon. Anyway, would you like to fight Abyssal Monster? I mean, sure. Alright, where's the Abyss Monster at, though? Or is it is there at least a quest marker there's no quest marker okay so maybe it's a monster that has to be spawned in and then you get the quest possibly i don't know um because it's pretty pretty tough at the fact that it doesn't give you a marker for where the quest is like it usually would so i'm gonna just go ahead and um stop this quest for a second because i have no idea where the abyss monster is and i'm gonna just go to this guy let's see if you have something we can do yeah, I'm known for being one of the fastest players when it comes to killing hollows. How about I show me how fast you can kill some hollows? Sure, kid. Kill 10 hollows. See, look, boom. When I kept accept this quest, uh, it gives me a quest marker, but that one doesn't. So maybe it's a, in the future they'll add a quest marker to that thing. And or if I happen to run, come across the abyss monster, I'll uh, come back to that quest. But for right now, I'm going to just do this quest real quick. All right, boom. We are at the hollow quest. So I'm just going to go ahead. Start get us. Yeah, see they, they still occasionally block mid combo, which is pretty tough But well, we can uh, we can deal with it for right now. I guess We are very strong. Though. I will say that we're well, not very strong We are definitely stronger from the last time we're doing this in the last time we were doing five damage a hit when killing hollows Why did my blender not go not blender, but why did my triple strike not go off? Uh-uh bang. Yeah, I'm definitely doing way more damage than I was before uh 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 okay yeah i do not like the fact that they guard mid combo but it's whatever i guess also it's then not bad but i guess that would be kind of an op combo extender again uh bangs so you get like what 20 dollars per hollow kill or something like that which isn't too bad why are you on the ground i can't even i can't hit this hollow there we go bang Alright, also this quest does have a time limit, I guess because it's like a race against time. He said how I can kill Hollows faster than you, so you know I'm gonna just keep going in on these for a little bit. And I'll probably jump cut to when I'm almost done with the mission, so you just don't have to sit here and watch me kill these basic hollows for a little bit. So uh, I'll jump cut when I'm almost done. <laughs> we have 
have one more hollow to kill. I'm at level 11, so let's see how much EXP this is once I'm done. It's not a lot, not too much, a decent amount. I'm gonna check up this place over here because um I haven't been to this part of town even in a test server, like I said before. Also, uh, let's see, let's check the dev products. Is there uh yeah, there's no nothing about uh you know two times exp when they they want you to grind they they want you to grind and do like all the green repeatable quests i guess but um how am i supposed to get up here oh there's a cave over here what the heck you're level five to ten you're gonna tell me to go talk to dang yeah okay this is a quest i've already done before all right get off my screen um oh yeah he's the acid hollow quest all right let's see let's see um, I guess I'll jump cut again when I find something new and or different to do. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie guys, I've been running around the map for a while now and I don't think there's too many other quests and I really don't know how to get up to that temple place right now to see if there's anything there. I don't see a beacon so I don't think there's anything there, at least not yet. Um, honestly it was like this in the release of Reaper 2, like there wasn't too many quests to start off with but obviously I'm assuming they're gonna add more along with other worlds, uh... Maybe with some raids. Also, they, there are bosses that do occasionally spawn, like three of wrong cars that use, um, they use resurrections. There's, uh, the Corrupted Captain, which, uh, I've fought Biakio before as the Corrupted Captain. Who knows? There may even be other Corrupted Captains that spawn. You know, obviously, he's not corrupted, but, like, in the show, but in here, you know, he's a Corrupted Captain. You can fight. and gives decent XP. Click on this quest, uh, I'm pretty sure I've done this in the last video, too. I did yeah i'm not gonna do this one again because i have to like run all the way around the map but um yeah there's not too too many quests in here so after you do like the whole little storyline thingy you just gotta go around doing the repeatable quest for the most part fighting your um fighting your uh soul reaper not your soul your zompak toe you can get soul points or soul notes you can up your, your points in that um and yeah this i'm assuming they're, they're definitely gonna add a lot more because like I said this is only like the first world of many that are in bleach and I know Reaper 1 you know it obviously had other worlds from what I remember so you know there's there's definitely gonna be more doing this game but I'm gonna do this quest again I'm hoping this is repeatable oh this isn't a repeatable oh no that's not good um this one's repeatable I know because it's green I just don't know where the abyss monster is I knew where it was, I'd do it. I wish they gave a marker. Yeah, I, 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 I genuinely don't know where this could possibly be. Like, I'll, I'll look for it for a little bit while I'm talking, but most probably I don't know where it is. But um, yeah, if we look on the trailer right here, we can see like, you know, obviously it has majority to all the information in the game. You got Soul Reapers, Hollows, wrong Cars, you know, you've got each of the races right here and how to progress Hollows and wrong Cars. Uh, the rarities on each everything, like the rarities on Resurrection. I said I wanted Primero, but that is going to be very, very, very hard to get, and we'll have to get very lucky or spend a lot of money. And as you can see, uh, Sorry no Shiryuki is an uncommon, even though I think it's one of the best in the game. Bond cards are still a work in progress. Quinties, you got the base form, and then there's the form, the Google. I don't even know how to pronounce that. I don't even know why I try pronouncing that. You got all the moves. If you aren't going a wrong car or anything hollow related, I recommend doing mainly your fist. But actually, if you go a wrong car, do a mixture of both of these. Uh, get all these. And in my opinion, Flurry Strike versus Whirlwind, I recommend, recommend Whirlwind because it's better for combos. Flurry Strike makes you do like a step back. And, um, you know, after you do the step back, you might lose the combo because of the startup. Um, me personally, I never touched any of the hollow moves when I was in testing. I never really used them. I mostly just used kendo and uh, when I was a wrong car I mostly used just a mixture of both of these because when you go into your res you don't have a sword so you just you know would mainly use these um then you obviously you have the movements you got the hollow moves and then as you see right here it's all the quests I'm pretty sure we've literally done like all of these this is like all the storyline right here and then the grandfather the Quincy grandfather quest is obviously how you would get your Quincy form and then we have the daily quests, which you could like are repeatable for the most part. There's not that many. And I try and click on this one to find where the Abyss Walker is. And uh, it just literally just has no description. It just shows that he exists. And then, um, I wasn't even on pure quests. These are the repeatable quests. Only these two. We only, there's only two repeatable quests, which is pretty sad. 
since there's like not a lot of other ways to level other than I think the Dawn Guy Master, which doesn't really give a lot. So uh yeah, and then obviously they got the all the NPCs right here. I even tried to find the Abyss monster on here, it's literally just not here. So I guess the way to be grinding is just waiting for like strong stuff to spawn and repeatedly killing just like the strong mobs or whatever, and I guess that's how you will get EXP, which is yeah, it's a bandit beater for the most part. But you know, it's, it's it's what we got right now for Bleach games, and I you know I, I personally don't mind because I've really just been indulging in deep woken for the most part, so I'm not too pressed. Game definitely has a lot of potential. It's only in alpha, even though the full release it's like fully out for everybody to play, and I don't think it's going to be going down again unless something major happens or something major they have to change. But for the most part, you know, it's uh it's definitely uh it definitely has a lot of potential. I don't doubt the fact that this will be one of the top Bleach games for a really long time because. I only know of one other Bleach game that's currently in the making, and that's by Higoshi, the person who made Demon Slayer RPG 2. I really do want to get tested for that, I'm not going to lie, because I've seen some of the sneaks and it looks really nice, so hopefully I can get tested for that. Then he might hook a homie up with it, so I'm not too sure. Hopefully he does, but um, yeah, I, this game definitely has a lot of potential and has a chance to be on top for a long time. There's not a lot of content in it, that, I'll say that for sure, but like I said, it's only an alpha. And, uh, you know, there's not even Bonkaiser in yet, like, no Bonkaiser in the game, no nothing. It's just literally just Chikai's and then, like, a couple of quests. For the most part, uh, you know, not too terrible, not too terrible at all, I'd say. Definitely, uh, definitely has, uh, some potential. Anyways, guys, I think it's gonna be all, um, I would have done, like, a starter guide, but since I did everything that, like, you know, is starter-worthy, I can't really show y'all what to do, unless I, like, make an ult, which I will do in the future to like you know do a different like stat line because i want this my main account to be soul reaper but i definitely do want primero and uh a wrong car because i'm not i'm like i said before that thing is pretty busted it's going to be very annoying to fight against in pvp if y'all ever you know do step into rank or just pvp in general but anyways guys i think it's going to be all for this video this is reaper 2 the game link will be down in the description below along with the game's discord please do not hate too much on the game or sleep too much on the game it just just released there's definitely going to be more content do not think this is just the base this is just a base content could there have been a little bit more base content yes but um there's definitely going to be more and more content added like other worlds maybe even some raids like i said some dungeons for each race i don't know there's even like special quincy quests somewhere i don't i haven't even seen the special quincy quests yet so there's definitely going to be way more stuff to do in this game especially just like progression wise but this is going to be all. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? If you're new, this has been Main XZ. This has been Reaper 2. New Bleach game that literally just released like a couple minutes ago. Please do give it a try and give it a play. You know, give it a chance. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. I really don't know why I'll be right, I'll be right, I'll be right.